Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more CK3 playing as the Mogier Confederacy currently led by Alamos Ugyifki or whatever it's gonna be, I don't know. So we're currently trying to beat down Moldavia a little bit just because, I mean, we can. Uh, it could result in a little bit of extra land for me. I'm still looking for more ways to bully the Bulgarians a little bit. Um, he is currently in a war against Great Moravia. Right over here, but Great Moravia is a bit on the weak side. I don't anticipate they're going to put up much of a fight, so Bulgaria is going to win this one. Bulgaria is strong, shockingly strong, and kind of scares me. I would love to, you know, get like um, an alliance or something. You know, that would be that would be great. If I were to find a concubine, we could do that. Lisping, we we captured a queen. Oh, well, that's cool. We could also take a prisoner as one of our concubines. Um, I don't remember what you gain from getting more concubines. Eh, just the chance of more kids, I suppose. Can we find any who would be willing to join or something? Some of all skills, no. Uh, yeah. Honestly, something I would like to do is have my wife die so I can ally somebody else. Right? And get somebody I can call into a war. Like, imagine I got Kazaria as an ally. And then all of a sudden, I pack up and move over to Hungary, you know? That would be pretty good. But oh well, protecting against factions. Yeah, I do still have the military power of some populace, but we can deal with that if necessary. We lost our steward position because I moved my son over. Right, but uh, well, let's go ahead and assign this guy instead. I'll let you go ahead and just get some money. I needed somebody who was really good at martial. That was the most important thing for me. And my son, it turns out, pretty good. Pretty darn good. So we're happy with that. We're very happy with that. All right, come on. Siege us down a little faster. It's taking a little too long for me. Thank you. Okay. Now, if we move up over... Ah, there's no way to get over here without taking a lot of attrition, unfortunately. I hate taking a lot of casualties. Um, I don't know. If we siege the forts on the way, does that give me enough control of supply that I don't take as many casualties? I do not know the answer to that question. So let's actually just test it and find out real quick, shall we? Uh, he's trying to unsiege something. What are you trying to siege? Somebody else is sieging you. Never mind. Oh, okay. Well, that must suck for you. You're having a real tough time there, Moldavia. We have not found any more secrets. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and stop. Secrets are fun and all, but they're not super important. So let's just protect against any more threats against me. Is there anybody in my court that I really don't like and would prefer dead? I can't do murder, I just realized, because I'm a just character. Never mind, that doesn't matter. Alright, King Boris won his war for a county up in Great Moravia. We knew that was going to happen. No surprise. Do something to upset your vassals, please. Do something tyrannical. Start a civil war that I can take advantage of. Eh? Eh? Above domain limit? Why, why, why lost domain? Because my chancellor isn't good enough? Aww. All right, now that's actually fine. Um, we'll give this one away, I think. Let's find a new character we like. Uh, preferably somebody with really good martial skill. Um, chieftain, Chieftain. You're pretty good. You're Polish. You're of the wrong faith, though. You, I don't think I could give titles if I wanted to. I could probably make you convert, though, to be honest. So let's do this. We're going to give this to you. I'm not above my uh, domain limit anymore. The result, though, is I'm going to lose a lot of levy because I don't personally hold as much land. And it looks like, yes, indeed, we do not take as much attrition if we were to siege down each uh, consecutive... Hey, stop sieging down this capital. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. I want this. This is mine. My war score comes from this. That's right. You run away. Okay, I don't actually need to fight him. I just wanted him to leave. So that works. Okay, get back over here. I can afford to take a little loss. What matters right now is that we just go ahead and take the war goal itself. And we should be able to win this in four months. He's not going to win this. That gets me the war goal and we'll be able to win. Education of this courtier, Barot, my ward, is at an end. Okay. Well, you ended up being a okay character. I mean, at least you're honest. You're not bad. You're not great, but you're not bad. I'll take you. My spouse's martial skill led to a windfall of extra prestige. Thank you, waifu. You're great. I love it. We could assault the fort, by the way. Um, it adds extra siege progress, but it causes casualties every day. 
If you're desperate, it's not bad, I suppose. But we're not worried about that. Boom. Okay, that's 85% war score. Still not enough, huh? I guess I'll keep doing things, though we did get some more sieges. A notable guest has arrived. He would make for an accomplished commander. I would absolutely love to recruit you to court. Let's make you into a knight. Or a commander, one of the two. I don't really care which one. Either one's fine. All right. Cool. So, um, what else is going on here? Bulgaria is fighting against somebody. They've got pretty good strength. They've actually greatly surpassed me. Once again, I find myself stuck. I need a lot of domain so that I can... Um, I need a lot of personal domain so I can greatly increase my levy capacity. That's what I need. Well, let's just sit back here and siege this and then leave. I mean, there's no reason for me to take any more losses. He's running away. That's 100%. We got a new perk. Cool. Let's enforce our demands. Take this. Got a title right over here. Perfect. You guys are going to raid. And since he is currently distracted fighting somebody else, I say we go ahead and take something if we can. Now, as far as our domain limit is concerned, we still need to find some loyal characters. So who else is good at martial? but is specifically a male and is not a ruler, but is an adult. Um, Oleg right here would be pretty good. So would you, but you are of the right religion. I think I'll take you. I'm going to grant you this title. There you go, not over my domain limit anymore, thank you. Okay, new perk, what do I want? Well, we can go for engineer destruction. Since I actually do have uh, siege weapons, that's good. We should be able to siege things down very quickly now with my onagers. I like that a lot. So we're going to raid you, and it shouldn't take too long. That's going to be 15 loot for me. Thank you. And can I go anywhere else? Can't go there without taking uh, any attrition. But we can go here. You've already been looted recently, though. What about here? I can go here. This works. Let's go ahead and raid you in this area. Another four loot to be had there. I'm not going to get a ton. We'll get a little bit. Fire and blood. Ooh, here we go. Settlement of Chilia. We can capture skilled slaves. Control drops, development progress changes by plus 80. Their development level drops. And my development in the Chiefdom of Uman goes up. Oh, yes. Let's go for some development. That's great. Actually, wait a minute. No, it's not. Because my development needs to actually get all the way up to 100 in order to gain a level of development. And we're abandoning this land. All right, never mind. I should have gone for the money and the prestige. Still, it was fun. What's this? Ransom, you want to pay me 50 gold. Yep. And what's this? You want to pay me a hundred gold. Yep. I don't even know how we got the Queen of Moravia, but I'm glad that we did. Hey, we can get another... Oh, right. Concubine. Ah, let's just take her as my concubine. Fine, whatever. More prisoners we can ransom. Sure. Ten gold there. Okay. We can designate a guardian for my daughter. I will be her guardian, I think. Let's do that. Uh, I will get ten more gold out of you. Okay, and I can get 14 more gold by ransoming the chief. He can't afford any more than that. That's fine. Whatever. No biggie. All right, so have we finished with the raiding over here? Yes. Now we go over here. Thank you for the cash. All the cash just means more mercs. That's all it is. That's all I want. Thank you. Fire and blood. More slaves. Okay, now I can justify doing this. That's actually a little bit of more development. Now we're close to 100. Disband the army. Time to start returning. 24 gold, thank you. Time for us to go ahead and start getting some extra levy back up to our capacity. Which is currently sitting at 3171. Okay. Uh, if I were to go to my council, we should be able to improve the development of my capital. And it's only going to take two months to reach the next level. We'll get to development level one. Sad that we're going to lose it, but if it gets me some extra levy and stuff in my top holding, I'd say it's well worth it. What else we got going on here? Soothing the pain for my daughter. She becomes compassionate. That's fine. Got absolutely no problem with that. We have reached development level one. Supply limit goes up. That's it? Oh. That can't be right. That's all you get out of development? Well, that doesn't seem particularly good. All right, forget that. Doesn't matter. Never mind. We're just going to go ahead and take the council, and I'll have you just go ahead and collect some more taxes. Abandon your job. It doesn't matter anymore. I've given up. 
I've given up on this entirely. Okay, so you are at 4,000. You've definitely got mercs. He's got 748 mercs. Also, my wife, or no, my concubine is pregnant. Good. Um, so are you fighting somebody? He's attacking somebody. Who's, who's this? He's attacking over here. Oh, this isn't even fight. He is fighting against 4,000 men. You know what that means? It means it's time for me to go to war. Um, I need to give it a second. Let's get my levy back up. But let's pay attention to this. He has gotten into a big honking war. And if he's in a big war, plus me, if we do this correctly, it'll be him against 8,000. And I can hire mercs. The walls of Cherkassi. A delegation slowly files out of my private chambers. Petitioners were begging for money. I can give money and professionally built walls and get stewardship lifestyle experience, which does nothing for me. Or I can say my money is for me. I gain money and I have crumbling walls in a single chiefdom. I don't care. I'm going to take the money. I'm saving the cash, dude. I'm saving the cash. Uh, let's see. We can still declare a lot of wars against neighbors. Not worried about that. Some people do want um, some council positions. I have a chief desk who's pretty good. You're not good at anything. You are good at something. I already have good opinion with you, though. So we should go to some of these vassals who are not pleased with me, and we should try to sway them for a bit. Very likely to work, which is good. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's huge. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Our dynasty is still very... Oh, acquaintance was taken prisoner. My son took somebody. What is my son doing? My son is fighting a war of his own. Go, boy! Yes! Go forth and conquer! Anyway, just like your prestige is able to grow up to different levels of fame and your piety, so can your renown, which has to do with your dynasty-specific type of prestige. An unworthy challenge. At first I thought the simple footman uh, a fool. However, the battle proved harder than I thought. He would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I try not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. This guy joins my court. He's really good. Okay. Or I could get a lot of prestige. Or I could get some dread for murdering him. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take him on. Uh, I do need um, more knights, and he became a champion. And with really good prowess, he will slay. Hard he will slay. Okay. Solid. Solid, solid, solid. Anyway, if you look at Dynasty... Uh, that's not it. Here's Dynasty. Here's the house. So, uh, we can grow up our Dynasty a little bit right here, and, um, whoever is the, uh, strongest member of your Dynasty is the Dynasty head. We would be able... Well, actually, we can take a look at our Dynasty tree, but that's not what I want to do. Uh, we can... There it is. Legacies. Legacies are a different type of perks that you can gain, um, for your Dynasty, and it is permanent and goes to all your family members. So, for example, Warfare, House of Warriors, our prowess goes up and our knight effectiveness goes up. Or Popular Opinion, or Dread Gain from Guile here, that could be good. Noble Veins, a chance of getting uh, good eugenic traits goes up, that's awesome. Vibrant Count, make your courtier and guests like you, more guests. Marriage Acceptance, Fertility, this is what we're apparently working on right now. No, I apologize, I saw this bar. And I thought that's what it meant. No, we are we are not quite at the 1,000 renown necessary in order to upgrade our dynasty and go for fertility upgrades. But yeah, you can see that some of these end up being really good. There's a short reign duration. That solid general opinion plus 10 is very good. Life expectancy. Major chance to prevent a murder against a dynasty member. Domain limits. More uh, private armies. You know, lots of fun stuff. Lots and lots of fun stuff you can do. The more good living members you have, the more prestige they all are gaining from titles and so on, the faster your renown goes up. Uh, let's go for an ancestor and just have another... Yeah, let's just go for another daughter like so. That'll be fun. I am 60 years old. I feel like my chances of dying are getting pretty high up there. Unfortunately, the king of Bulgaria is younger than me. Who knows? He might live for a good long while. I don't know. It's entirely possible. He's pretty good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, too. That's fun. All right, still waiting for my levy to get up. I want full levy so that I can go for the fight. How are we doing... Game? Whoo, I was scared that it crashed for a second. Uh, we have nine out of nine champions. Are any of them really bad? Yes. 
Forbid you. You're terrible. Forbid you. You're terrible. I don't want bad knights, okay? Bad knights are just gonna be a liability more than anything else. Okay, okay. Um, the faction of populists has disbanded. That's good. That's very good. Let's remember, we're gonna abandon all this territory in favor of Hungary in a little bit. So, like, we're gonna lose a lot of stuff, but it's okay. It's okay. It's no biggie. It's no biggie. Okay, her opinion went up, so now she has a positive opinion of me. That's good. She will contribute a tiny bit more levy than before. Not by a lot, mind you, just a little bit. I could go for one more men-at-arms regiment. Oh, wait. I just realized something. I don't think I can declare this war. No, it doesn't cost anything. I've already paid the 1,000. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. We're fine. I was going to say, uh, if we have to pay another 1,000 um, prestige, we're going to have a problem. No, I could go for one more. Uh, we get, like, some light horsemen. Light horsemen are quite good. Um, they are good against archers specifically, good in a few different types of terrain. We should actually take a look. Can I see what kind of terrain we've got? Yes. So we would mostly be fighting in plains. There are some wetlands and forests. We don't really have steppes. There are some mountains that we would have to worry about. Um, I don't recall... So, our horse archers are good in plains and drylands, but they're very bad in wetlands and mountains. Yeah, that's that's potentially a little bit of an issue. Um, we already have light footmen, bowmen, horse archers. I think going for some light horsemen could be good. Pikemen could be good. Armored footmen do not have any bonus in any terrain. Pikemen are good in hills, mountains, and desert mountains. We could get this to kind of round things out and hedge our bets. Yeah, I think this is worth it. Let's go ahead and get another Men-at-Arms Regiment. We're going to use up a lot of our prestige, but we're going to have more troops. We can now have 2,800 levies, and I can have my Men-at-Arms getting me up to 3,294. Also, we just got focus recruitment. My levy size went up by 25%. Are you serious? Oh, thank you, Waifu! 3,355? Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um... Yeah. Are you still fighting your war? You are. And you're attacking Moldavia. So you're fighting two people right now. You're winning. But we could turn that around. If your army is over here, we could do some fun stuff against you, man. It's going to take a while, though, because we don't want to go charging after his top holding. Because otherwise, we're going to take so much attrition, I will lose loads of men. We have to slowly make our way across, sieging down top holdings and looking for good fights. We also got another lifestyle perk. Well, we should get that. Living off the land, supply capacity. That's huge. That's great. Sappers. I would love to have some extra siege progress for every type of, um, some units. Can you live long enough to get all the way to Tactician? Because that would be great. It really would be great. Still waiting for those levies to get up to max, though. Still waiting a little bit. Uh, opinion went up of a chief. Okay, my son. Nice. Neighboring rival has lost their son and heir. No, has lost against mine. I'm sorry, I read this and said has lost their heir, and then I saw my son's name, and I'm like, what? No, we're fine. All right, my daughter is quick to anger. Sure, wrathful, why not? We're up to 3470 now with our levy. Uh, a neighbor lost a war, but I don't really care. That's not a big deal. You are still fighting the big war over here. And they have lost a lot of troops. We need to declare this war now. I can't afford to wait that much longer. We are going to go ahead and raise our armies. And declare this war, I think. It is time. Let's see if we can do it. Migrate to Pannonia. I'm going to steal the Kingdom of Hungary from you. Declare war. Alright, here goes nothing. Raise armies. Let's go forth, men. Go forth. Uh, I would love to get some mercs. Preferably with really good numbers, because number advantages are awesome. These guys wouldn't be bad. Some more light footmen and horse archers. Good in planes. Uh, these guys are a bit too expensive. I don't know how much these guys are going to cost me per month. It's a contract. It's a three-year contract. I don't think we have to pay per month. Oh, well, then we're hiring you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're hiring you. Holy freaking crud crap! What happened? Oh! 
you! I should have done this way sooner! Holy crap! Okay, hold the phone, hold the phone. Um, because of Arcasus Belly, we just mobilized all the tribes and got absolute tons of troops. Split in half. You guys have my champion as a uh, commander. That's fine. Yeah, um, let's get our troops in position over here and let's go and siege a couple of holdings at a time. Holy crud, I was not expecting to get that many soldiers. This is beautiful. Let's actually... No, you, can't, you guys keep going down here. You, slow your roll for a second. I don't want to take attrition. Now get over here. Okay, um, so all of a sudden... We've got a rather substantial uh, army advantage. If we can hold it, we've got him. I didn't need to get these mercs, it looks like, but I'm not opposed to having the mercs anyway. All right, so we should be able to siege down quickly, and we'll tag team these guys and just keep going for fort after fort after fort. And if we can find a really good fight, we will happily take it. Hopefully he is distracted off here to the west and will not bother coming after me. He is still in his war, so that's a thing. He's also been raided, which is great. Okay? We are taking attrition, and that's probably because uh, the supply limit is not great here. Well, no. We're well supplied. We're fine. We're just taking some attrition from the siege in general. Okay. Not going to worry about it then. Another camp dispute, huh? 53% chance that this works. Let's give it a go. Didn't work. Gosh dang it. Stop wasting my prestige, gents. All right, let's go grab this fort in the hills. Going to grab this one next. Shouldn't take too long. Just try not to take oodles of attrition. But our goal at this point... Can I go anywhere else? No, 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 no. Uh, my goal is to not take too many losses on my way toward his top holding. I think we can accept... 236 casualties is a lot. Maybe we just sit tight for a second. Too bad you can't siege down any of this land. Uh, apparently our supply is bad. Let's back off, actually. Shouldn't be doing that, then. Don't take needless losses. Don't take needless losses. Yeah, we are over our limit. All right, let's go. Let's split these guys in half as well. And you guys have a commander. We're going to go ahead and pull you over here. And we'll... Wait. One of you guys sit tight. You sit. No, no, no. Stay there. Stay there. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, it looks like Bulgaria just won a war. I'm not particularly sure how they won a war, because they didn't have huge war score, but apparently they got what they wanted. That actually works amazingly well for me, though. So take a look at this, right? I'm going to take all of his Hungarian holdings. He just conquered a whole nother duchy in Hungary, which means when I win, I'm getting all of this as long as I do win. Now, he still has 3,200 troops, and if I need to hire more mercs, I will happily do so. I am not above it. Not at all. Somebody lost a war. That's fine. We're gonna go for it, dang it. We're going for this. Um, you go here. You go... Whoop. A little harder to select some of these guys than you might have thought. You get up over here. Can't quite go that far. Seeing at 12% war score. I need to get his top holding, and I'm going to need to win some important fights. There's no way around that. We are going to have to. If I went here anyway, we would take 121 casualties. Every man counts at this point. I'm not going to take the risk. Uh, why are we not sieging this? I do not know, but for some reason we are not. Okay, what's the supply limit look like? Don't want to go that high. We are using up too much supply as is right now. All right. Uh, we can just wait a couple of months. We can just wait a couple of months. We got this. My poor wife has cancer. No. Hey, it's a lobster. We need a physician. Uh, let's search for some physicians. Okay, we found some people. Uh, apparently, Leonotia is quite experienced. She is an Orthodox Greek. She is a physician. Good learning skill. Or a lackey. Who is not skilled. I say we take her on. We're going to get a good court physician. Okay. And um, let's not do any more than necessary. There's a good chance she dies anyway. And I can always remarry. So I'm not worried about it too much. Uh, supply limit. We can go there. Or if I take you. You can go here. My supply limit is lower on these guys apparently. 
So let's go siege that down next. Can I get here? Not without taking attrition. What about here? No. River in the way. River in the way. That's fine. That's fine. We have onagers with you, right? No. Where are my onagers? My onagers are on these guys. Oh, they're the better siegers. Ow. Well, I probably should be letting these guys lead the charge then. Till death to us part, my wife dies of cancer. I, I gained some stress as a result. Well, I need to get remarried. Uh, preferably to a woman who is really, really good at martial. Um, could we also get an alliance with some important people? Possibly. Let me see here. So let's go for um, alliance power. An alliance with a kingdom that's actually reasonably strong. Um, who are you and where are you located, though? I don't want to look about there. There it is. Oh, these guys are way over here. Too far away. Not going to be helpful. Uh, high chiefdom of something. Way too far away. Not going to be helpful. Upland. Yeah, too far away. Not going to be helpful. Corland. Um, no. Yeah, all right. So we're not going to get anybody with a really good um, uh, alliance benefit. Okay. So if I went for, let's say, you, you're pretty good. Great stats across the board. You're gregarious, you're ambitious, you're fickle. We could also try to go for a congenital trait. I'm not really seeing any options there. Well, I take that back. This person's good. She is beautiful. Arbitrary, humble, greedy. Nah. Let's go for you. Um, I'm going to lose a lot of prestige out of this arrangement, though. But, oh well. Such is the way of it. Our marriage alone should actually bring back a bit. What just happened? Why are we no longer fighting? What just happened? We're no longer fighting against Bulgaria? I am fighting against a new king of Hungary. Oh, well, he's even weaker. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, um, let's move forward and go for some more sieges then. Uh, what? Who's the king? This guy? No, there's a guy down over here. King Gavril of Pannonia. I do not know how you were able to get independence, but now you're the one I have to fight and steal the title from. Okay. My new spouse is up to the task. She can teach me how to be a better steward. Yeah. Uh, or I could study uh, Intrigue for my spy master. Basically, she can make any of our counselors better. Um, I lay with her. Mm, yeah, no. Let's go for stewardship. Make our counselor better. And then as far as counsel is concerned, um, yeah, chivalry is the way to go here. Let's just get myself even more. Holy crap, though. I'm not sure what changed. But now we're in a big war, and it's a lot easier because there's a lot less to worry about. So let's just keep going here at speed 5. Uh, somehow I have to get to your top holdings over here. But I need to try and take as little attrition as possible in the process. So let's just keep casually marching forward. Bulgaria may have actually voluntarily sacrificed that with the anticipation... We can do this. With the anticipation that they were about to lose a huge war anyway, so might as well grant independence and not take quite as many losses. That could very well be what they were going for there. Um, can you get down here? You'll take a little attrition, but it's not too bad. I kind of want to rush this war before this guy gets much stronger, because he's got a really big domain. And if I can go fast on this, we'll be in a much better position. Okay. I think I need to end this war here, or sorry, end this video here. But next video, I don't see any reason why we can't just go ahead and take the rest of Pannonia, and we will become the king of Hungary. We will do it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and do it.